Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I'm asking you, where are we going? Um, we're going to the strawberry festival. The strawberry festival. That's right. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I am. Hey, so I'm here to do the Strawberry Festival wrap up. Actually, this is the second time I filmed this. I was watching it back a few minutes ago and I sounded so down and depressed and unhappy about it. Um, so I wanted to redo this because I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I'm just tired and kind of have a million other things going on in my head. So, my uh, just start with craft show. I have another craft show this weekend, and then I have another craft show after that, and then the day after my next craft show, we're leaving to go on vacation, and also my birthday is Monday, so, um, just kind of, but anyway, so I feel a lot in my head, and I was like, I can't, I can't use this, because I sound so upset, which I, I'm not, um, so, uh, onto the strawberry festival part of this, um, we had fun. Uh, staying at the hotel was nice. The festival was nice. Um, they had a lot of stuff going on. Um, Ivy had tons of fun. She did really well. She even took a nap in the car uh, for about two hours with the air on, and John was with her. Um, but it, it was really nice uh, to spend the weekend together like that because we it's very rare we get John to all to ourselves on a Saturday. He's usually working either all day or at some point during the day. Um, usually all day though. So it was nice uh, to have that little family time and um, anyway we we were in this area which was nice. The area we were in was kind of nice because it was this huge shed and we were under it and we still use our tent because of the banner and stuff. My banner doesn't really hang on my table very well. I've done it before but it it doesn't work out very well. Um, so we put the tent up anyway. But it was kind of nice being over there because it didn't get nearly as hot as it did everywhere else. And it wasn't nearly as windy. So I didn't have that issue of all of my stuff blowing over. Which is um, something that I've been dealing with lately is uh, at all my other shows. So that was really nice. Um, the downside of being over there is that it's an area that they've never utilized before. So a lot of people didn't know we were back there, so the foot traffic wasn't great. Um, there was some, but not a lot, not compared to where the other like craft vendors were when we went walking around and looking. Um, in fact, like there were some people in our area that were packing up as early as like 2 o'clock, and the show didn't until 5. And we ended up leaving a little early, even though I hate doing that. I hate because I just I think it looks so unprofessional to be packing up and leaving way before but I looked around at around four o'clock and realized that we were one of only two or three vendors who weren't packing up and I t it was or or already completely gone there were a lot of people already just gone in our area so I I even like pulled up the event schedule in my on my phone to make sure like did it end at four no it ended at five um but there was no one left in our area so we ended up just kind of following suit and packing up a little bit early um not not super early though we ended up just leaving we ended up leaving about 30 minutes early or we ended up leaving at five um instead of packing up at five so we started packing around 4 30 i believe it was um yeah, it wasn't, so that was kind of a downer to travel that far, but that's, you know, that's part of it. Um, 
you never know it was a new festival and this year I've been it's my first year doing this so I'm just kind of filling out you know I'm still figuring out what shows are worth doing and I don't really know a lot of people in the community I'm starting to make friends in the community which is nice so that'll be helpful going forward but you know next year I know what shows not to do and what's worth it and and uh, it was weird I didn't sell any strawberry stuff not one um and I don't think the vendor next to us sold anything that she had or a lot of stuff that she had made for the strawberry festival she made soaps and bath bombs that were strawberry scented um because she was giving those away and I don't know if maybe that's what she had planned to do in general or if they just weren't selling I'm not sure but actually when we were packing up to leave she gave us a strawberry soap which smells amazing and it's even shimmery I had it out here the first time I did it but I Ivy took it from me I don't know where it is excuse me and um, she gave Ivy a strawberry scented bath bomb which smelled so good Ivy smelled uh, like strawberries for hours after she got out of the tub the other day um, I believe her shop is called Southern Chalet, I think, but she does a lot of goat's milk soap and all the stuff, and smell. I spent the whole day sitting next to her booth, like, wanting to just buy everything, because it all smells so good. Um, I haven't found, she doesn't seem like she's an Etsy shop or anything. She has a Facebook page, I think I'm going to message her on Facebook, because she had this tea tree moisturizer stuff that I wanted to give a shot. I really like tea tree stuff for my hair. Um because it moisturizes without being too greasy in your hair and so it's kind of the idea for it behind the face moisturizer which it's something that I have an issue with. I have pretty oily skin. Um, so I have a hard time finding moisturizers that work for me. So I'm, I think I'm going to message her because I couldn't, I didn't see her or I could order any, if she had anything I could order from so I'm going to message her and see if I can PayPal or money or something and have her ship it if she even does that. I don't, I don't know. Um, I meant to get a card of hers before I left didn't she I was gonna buy it there but she had sold out of the small sizes and I'm allergic to everything so I like to get the smaller size of stuff before I go for the bigger thing yeah so anyway that was kind of the it wasn't my best show as far as sales but it wasn't my worst show as far as sales um, and the people who did buy they signed up for the email list so that's nice and I got a lot of I took stuff to make with me which I think if you watch the other vlog, which I can link in the description and in the cards, um, and that was, so I got a lot of people coming up when I was actually actively making stuff, which brought in traffic, and I kind of wish I could do that at every show, and I made, not every show has I have power though, um, so I wouldn't be able to bake it, but it was nice because it did, it did draw people in when I was sitting at my little work area that I had set up. Uh, and it was also nice because the inventory I did sell, I ended up being able to replace while we were there, so I'm not stressed out trying to rush and make replacement inventory this week for the show Saturday. Um, I'm gonna make a bunch of stuff, or, well it's Wednesday, I'm not gonna make a bunch of stuff, let's be honest here, my show is Saturday. Um, but all my stuff is still packed and out. I didn't even bother putting it away because I'm like, it doesn't make sense. I'm going to be doing another show in a couple days. But um, I'm probably going to make some stuff. I have some ideas. I couldn't sleep last night or was having a hard time falling asleep. I actually went to bed early for me. Um, but it took me a long time to fall asleep. And while I was laying there not sleeping, I was came up with some ideas for some stuff I want to try out on the votives. Um... Because I don't want to just do trees. I love doing the trees. They're my favorite. And I can do them quickly now. But I want to have more options. Um, but that's not. That's a whole different thing. Um, so yeah. So that's it. Uh, it was Overall we had a really good time. And it was a nice family outing. Uh, and. Yeah. So. I am probably not going to do a vlog for the next show because I'm taking Ivy with me by myself. And I didn't even vlog, or maybe I will vlog at the show this time. I didn't, I'm still getting used to talking to my phone. My phone. I don't have a vlogging camera. Um, 
and I it's still weird for me to like, do this kind of stuff in front of John even though he he knows that I do it and he's watched a lot of this stuff so it's it's but it's weird for me to do it in front of people I'm still trying to get used to it um, I'm still trying to get used to doing it alone but I'm working on it so doing it at shows so we'll see it may be fun she likes to do if you watch the last video she likes to she wants to be a YouTube person and wants to have her own YouTube channel and she's three so who knows maybe I'll just let her do the whole thing she is the namesake of the company after all so um yeah I'm but I'm, I'm probably not gonna do that it's, I think they're too close together I may do the next one um, or maybe maybe I'll combine the two who knows uh, but yeah, I am working on some other ideas I want to start doing maybe like a craft with me type thing if that's something you guys are interested in seeing uh, let me know and also more of some ideas for some comparison videos of products I am going to be I just got an email the other day that there is a black Sculpey translucent clay that I'm interested in getting and trying that out. So if you guys want to see you know, a product demo or something with that, let me know because I would be interested in kind of checking that out and trying to figure out what I could do with that. And I'm looking at some other stuff. I got it. So my birthday's coming up, so I have been getting my emails for my birthday discounts. Um, and one of them is from Polymer Click Superstore, so I'm looking at some some molds to compare with some things I already have. Um, but yeah, so let me know if that's stuff you guys might be interested in seeing. Alright, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys soon.